Today's uh, September 25th, 2022. Today seems to be the day that I, I've finally crossed uh, and uh, am taking steps to moving in the right direction in day trading. Before, I didn't have a plan. Um, right now, I'm going to build a plan. It's, it's a trading plan and I'm gonna be as specific as possible. And I'm going to disclose a step-by-step step process and what I believe to be a iterative process where I uh, adjust the plan in order to dial in what I need to do. Uh, and I suspect that because the market moves in certain periods of time, this plan needs to be uh, robust enough to uh, function properly in other times as well and so today is a day where I uh, so it would be called a birth of a trading plan the birth of a trading plan is going to include and I've discussed this with my uh, group and I've disclosed what I will do and having weighed the understanding between the easiest part of uh, and the first steps as a uh, day trader is to embark on understanding what setups to use first. I've come to this conclusion after having uh, having tackled the emotion and addiction and ignorance about day trading and I hope this is this is something that's going to uh, move me in the right direction and the moderator or the, uh, the, the, the group that I've joined stated that I need a plan immediately. Uh, so uh, I believe him and I'm paying to get this advice, uh, however small it is at this point. I, I, um, I'm sincerely very thankful. So having, having that, uh, uh, having uh, set up a foundation for what's happening and uh, now that I can freely and uh, not worry one thing about what's uh, happening to me in my in my background I can detach myself from my existing world and then live in a cerebral world where I can I can uh, perform day trading to to uh, to become consistently profitable the day-to-day -day drudgery of, of attempting to figure out where I will live which company that I will work for, and um, how I get to from here to there, and uh, any family issues, whatever issues, um, where am I gonna get the food? These are things that have been uh, addressed, and I believe, um, I believe that uh, God has given me this opportunity and has provided these things for me, a support system that will allow me to move forward with with a, uh, uh, realizing my dream as a day trader. So enough said about my preparation work. So the test plan, uh, uh, the, the trading plan, trading plan is essentially, uh, it seems to me just like the path that I've chosen to this point to understand what day trading is and looking at things from the uh, day trading uh, valley, um, it seems to me that um, the trading plan is very complex at this stage as well, and uh, and I need to dig deeper and understand more about the intricacies of a trading plan. Trading plan essentially just imagine the complexity that's involved. Okay, so the world's greatest and the smartest people on earth are doing the same thing, essentially buying and selling. Quants buy and sell. Quants are, their, their IQs are probably, um, if I were to put it into perspective and I'm not stretching too far, um, look, at, look at my career, look where I am. Um, I've lost jobs as an engineer um, and I barely uh, finished college. Uh, I, I think they, so if I were to elaborate, I could go on and on and on and uh, and look where my life has been and uh, how my, so I can go on and on, but I won't. I've already disclosed this. 
So to to get going to the perspective of uh, what my shortcomings are, um, one good thing that that's uh, helping me is that I have the ability to focus on uh, focus. Um, um, I was I was thinking about the statement that I uh, I'm about to make that uh, even if I have a single brain cell, I have the ability to focus so intensely using that one brain cell to create a thinnest line of concentration to get to the point from A to B. And therefore, I'm, I believe that with this singularly focused mindset, I will be able to uh, succeed in, in creating a trading plan. Now, the trading plan, as I've discussed, is uh, buying and selling, which everybody does. That means uh, buying is essentially an entry point, uh, and selling is essentially an exit point. So, <coughs> pardon me. So the so so entry point is um, entry point must be based entry point must be based on the groundwork of discovering what direction I'm going to support. So essentially, if I were to uh, if I were to, if I were to look into a particular situation and the market is moving, it's like it's a it's a moving it's a moving thing. It moves, so it's moving, and I need to figure out which direction is moving and for how long it's going to move. That's the hard part. That is the that is the billion dollar question. Which direction is it moving? And I've discussed this in the past. Uh, that is essentially what that does. And then, how do I exit? That means that when I exit, uh, is my thesis still intact? I have to keep monitoring this. Is my thesis still intact? And at which point do I need to get out? Am I expecting a certain pullback? Have I already calculated into the thesis? And uh, at which point do I exit so that even if it, even if there's a slight withdrawal, and hopefully it's not past the point of my stop loss. So if it moves in a certain point, when do I get out? When do I get out to state that it is still an A plus trade? And what makes, what substantiates that? Is it volume? Is it the way that it's moving? Is it is it the way that it's, is it the indices that are impacting how the the uh, stock is being performed? And so is performing. So these are the questions that I need to uh, I need to consider when building this trading plan. So the first part is um, even even if I trade, um, even if I even if I trade the um, so so the the title of this video is called trend plan. It's essentially a trading plan, but I call it trend plan because I've selected the setup that I will use to to. Uh, to build my trading plan, and so the entry entry point is uh, uniquely uh, very very difficult. Um, I can just randomly get in and just get out and have a 50-50 uh, coin flip, or, or even worse. Okay, so because I am biased, because I look at the market and the way that it is factored in is that it is designed such so that. It is designed, essentially. There's two things that are sapping money out of the market. One of them is these firms and Wall Streets. They take commissions off of it. They take it out of the market. They take it out. They take it out of the, uh, the every time I do a transaction, the money is taken out. So before money, before my money even gets into the, to, to, to the market where a purchase is made, there's a, there's a cut that's made on entry and exit. As well as uh, when I enter, the market moves against 90% of the population, which means so that so that 10% of the people, 10% uh, of the population takes the money out, okay, on a, on a periodic basis. So when that happens, um, when that happens, uh, I have to consider that as well. That's why even a 50/50 uh, coin flip is 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 probably not the case because me being a 90 percentile. To avoid being the 90 percentile, I have to avoid those uh, considerations, situations, by making uh, making a day trading plan. I have been consistent for a little bit. Uh, however, I need to put that aside. 
I have been consistent but losing. Now this training plan is going to uh, help me to piece together the elements that are required, the, the dimensions of the trading so that I can figure, uh, so I can, uh, I can uh, pinpoint exactly what the, uh, what the entry point is and what factors will I use to enter the, the, the trade. And so, uh, so essentially this is going to be a, a trend plan, I suppose. I'll call it a trend plan instead of calling it a birth of a plan. I'll, I'll call it a trend plan.